Ugh, but imagine if this didn't happen, how like skinny and fit and strong I'd be. Just it'd be over for you bitches. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is JC and I have a story time for you guys today. So I love doing these story times and you guys love them too. Today's topic, I just want to issue a trigger warning because we will be talking about unsustainable weight loss practices as well as potential eating disorders. So just wanted to put that out there, that watch at your own risk. But I just wanted to share this story time, try to make it funny, but also issue a caveat to avoid places like this because it gets pretty intense. So I won't dwell on the intro too long, let's just hop into the story time. All right, so the year was 2015, so about five and a half years ago, and I had put on a little bit of weight, you know, I wanted to lose that weight, look good for the upcoming summertime, and I had seen on Facebook, which was popping at the time, a lot of people doing this challenge from this, I guess, workout boot camp called The Camp. So that's what we'll be talking about today, if you've heard of it. <laughs> So all over Facebook, everybody was changing their profile pictures and updating their status every single day about the workout that they did. So finally I reached out to one of them and I was like, what the heck is this? And she was telling me it's this workout challenge that if you pay $500 and you lose 20 pounds in six weeks, you get your money back. And I was like, wait, what? Like, tell me more, because if you make me pay money, I'm more than likely going to do it. Now, all that you have to do besides that is you had to post on your Facebook every single day about your workout, tagging the instructor of the workout class. This was obviously to promote the program and get more people to come and join the program, which clearly it worked because I was one of them. The other thing you had to do was you had to follow a meal plan and that was just to make sure you're eating a lot of protein to sustain your energy during these workouts. Now the workouts themselves, it was basically a CrossFit type of gym. So a lot of like box jumps, a lot of those cool little ropey things, sled pushing, like one of those really, really intense gyms that were basically a CrossFit type of workout. So after kind of talking to the manager of this gym of the camp, I was like, okay, I just wanna be clear. If I lose 20 pounds in six weeks, I get my $500 back. And he said, yes, or you can put it towards a gym membership with us. So that's kind of our goal is to get you to fall in love with our gym and our type of workout. So that way you'll put it towards a membership. Now, I knew I wasn't going to be doing this because their membership was like 120 bucks a month. And mind you, that was unlimited workout classes, but they also didn't have very good hours. I remember it was something like they only had classes from 11 to four and like six to nine, and that didn't work with my schedule at the time. I was a server, and so pretty much all of the time that they had to work out, I wasn't available, and they didn't have it on weekends when was like the main time I really could go work out. So I knew I wasn't gonna be getting a membership, but I was like, you know what? I can pay 500 bucks and I'm gonna lose this 20 pounds. So one other thing I would like to mention is at this time, I weighed 155 pounds. That is not that heavy. Right away, the manager of this gym said, you may not have 20 pounds to lose, or if you do, it's gonna be hard to lose it in six weeks. So I just wanted to put that out there that you're gonna have to work extra hard. And I was like, don't worry, man. I got this, I got this. Because again, if I'm paying for it, I'm gonna do it. So I start my workouts at the camp and I, Loved it. I, oh God, it's so annoying because CrossFit people are so annoying, but I really did like those workouts. They were very high intensity. You were, ve you're basically challenging yourself. And the other thing, oh, this is so bad to say. I feel really bad saying this, but I would say 90% of the people at this gym were extremely overweight. This was not a typical CrossFit gym. This was a weight loss boot camp type of gym. So these were the kind of people that were either like on the obese side or extremely, extremely heavy. So because of that, I was like the, the best in the class. So like we would have to go outside and like do wind sprints and I'm like lapping people. Like I feel like Usain Bolt out there. Like, oh man, I should be in the Olympics. Like where is the NBA coming to recruit me? Because I have a six foot jump vertical, you know? 
things like that. So I really fell in love with the workouts and I really did like those type of high intensity type of exercises. And it was also, they really emphasized community. So, you know, I started learning people's names and because like they had such a limited schedule, I was taking the same class every single day. So you start to learn people's names. They would do theme days of like Disney day, wear a theme shirt and then we would take a photo. So I really did start to fall in love with the gym and the workouts, but I had my eye on the prize. I was like, I'm here to lose my 20 pounds and get my $500 back. So now let's talk about the food plan of this place. So they give you a booklet and they, it's called KISS and that stands for Keep It Simple Stupid. And it was literally a five page document saying this is what you have to eat for the next six weeks. And that basically just included chicken, asparagus, brown rice for dinner, and egg whites or oatmeal for breakfast. And then they had like some snacks in there, but it basically just said you can only eat these things once a day, like you couldn't get more than this, you couldn't go over a certain amount of calories, and that was it. So no alcohol, you couldn't put any kind of sugar or creamer in your coffee, just a very, very, very restrictive diet. So I remember I was talking to the manager and he kind of looked at me and he said, for you, it's gonna all come down to the diet because again, you may not have that much weight to lose, so you are really gonna have to focus on it. So I really took that to heart and I was like, okay, I will keep it simple, stupid and I'm gonna follow this meal plan to a T. So the meal plan was very difficult, and I remember within two weeks, pretty much crying every single night because I would make my boiled chicken, my, my brown rice, my asparagus, and I would just look at it in the Tupperware and just start crying because I knew I didn't wanna eat it. I was sick of it, but that if I added even a little dash of sriracha, that those would be empty calories and I wouldn't lose weight. Or that I couldn't add teriyaki sauce to my rice because again, more calories. So what I started doing was I would just not eat because I was like, I don't even want to eat this food, but I was so determined to lose the 20 pounds that I was like, I cannot eat anything else. So I'm just not going to eat. And that happened for many nights during the week. You know, I'd be dinner time and I'd just be like, I can't eat this. I'm so sick of it. The thought of eating another piece of asparagus makes me want to vomit. So I just wouldn't eat. So already I was starting to establish really unhealthy, really unsustainable eating habits during this time while also doing very, very intense workouts that my body needed the energy to get through those. And even though I could feel myself getting stronger, at the same time I was weaker because I couldn't do my push-ups, I couldn't do my pull-ups because I just had no energy in my body to make those things happen. So I did start to lose weight and because of that, I was more encouraged to not eat because I saw the results on the scale. So then we get into our four week check-in. So there is two weeks left of this really high intensity boot camp and eating plan. And what happened was, was they pretty much called everybody in the program and they said, okay, if you have not lost 75% of your 20 pounds, you all have to come to this meeting. So I was within that group because during this time, I think I had only lost maybe 11 pounds. So I only had two weeks left to lose nine pounds. And again, I was doing everything I could to lose the weight, but because I just didn't have that much to lose, you guys need to understand, it's not gonna melt off of me like some of these heavier people. I really had to work for it. And I also had to keep in mind that because I didn't have that much fat at the time, I was gaining weight from the muscle mass. So it was very complicated and just not that great of a program idea for somebody like me. But anyway, so I have to go into this four week check-in and it's this room of about like 12 of us, I would say. And I of course was the smallest person there by afar. And this meeting, just kind of side note, was actually, it was, uh, it was like sad, but hilarious at the same time. So the manager, he kind of went around and he points to me and he goes like, how much weight have you lost? And I was like, 11 to 12 pounds. And he goes, okay, you're still fine because I can tell you're doing everything right. It's, we just knew it would be difficult for you. So you're fine. But he goes to the next person who's like this heavy woman. And he was like, how much weight have you lost? And she's like, I've only lost five pounds. And he was like, okay, tell me what you ate today. And she was like, well, for breakfast, I had eggs Benedict. And for lunch, I made an egg salad sandwich. And for dinner, and he just goes off and he goes, what? what that's not the meal plan what are you talking about and she was like well you said we could have eggs and he goes i said you could have egg whites and like fruit not an egg salad sandwich loaded with mayo and topped with hollandaise sauce like that's not the same thing and it was literally this whole meeting was just kind of me like stifling laughter in the sense of these people were getting frustrated with him that they weren't losing weight when it was clearly all their personal choices. Like he looked at one guy and he goes, what'd you eat this Sunday? He goes, well, it was Super Bowl, man. Like I ate everything and beer. And he goes, okay, what'd you eat the day before? And he was like, 
well, it was my nephew's birthday, so I had like a six pack of beer and pizza. Okay, what about last weekend? Oh, well that one, I just had a really rough weekend. And it was like, yeah, you guys, you gotta like be a little bit self-serving when it comes to this. Like you can't blame the manager when you're choosing to make those choices. So at the time it was really funny, but in hindsight, I definitely realize it's not funny because this whole program was just about very, very unsustainable eating habits and eating practices that it did not make sense for day-to-day -day life. And it just did not allow for any room for any finagling in the sense of a special event like a Super Bowl or a birthday party. So it was just overall a really bad business plan. But during the time, I think I was in that meeting and I was like, you know what, I'm doing everything right. I'm gonna lose these last nine pounds. We are good to go. So this is all leading up to a very dramatic ending. I wanna just put that out there. Make sure to wait for what they say to me because it was insane. But there was a week left of this challenge and I had seven pounds to lose in one week. That is not good. And mind you, at this point, it was not about losing weight healthily. It was not about getting stronger or looking better. It was straight up that number on the scale. I have to lose that so I can get my $500 back. So that was probably the worst week I've ever had in terms of weight loss, in terms of trying to live a healthier lifestyle. My brother was a wrestler in high school and I went to him and I was like, hey, how do you cut weight before one of your matches? And he would say, choose Starburst and spit out everything into a bottle, lose all of your water weight. I remember I went to a sauna at 24 hour fitness every single night that week in a sweatshirt and plastic bags trying to sweat everything out. I don't think I ate for a week. I was just a lump of a person doing everything that I could to try to lose weight on the scale, which obviously isn't good. And I think the worst part about this was that gym that I went to essentially encouraged it. Even the trainers who at this point I'd become friends with, you know, I was going to their sessions every day. I was tagging them on Facebook every day. They were really supportive in the sense that they wanted me to succeed, beat this challenge, get that free t-shirt at the end and get my money back. But they were also the ones kind of encouraging these really unhealthy habits. One of them told me to start going to training twice a day for that last week to really burn every calorie that I could. So I did not eat for a week, but I was doing double the workouts, double the box jumps, double the running up and down the stairs and doing those cool little ropey things you know it was not healthy but i was determined to lose that weight during that week i was also taking laxatives because i was like i need every little ounce of fluid in my body to be out of me because that is just another ounce on the scale so i remember i was serving and sorry if this is too much information but every five minutes i would have to run to the bathroom in between tables because i was on laxatives trying to get out everything it was just really, really awful, really impractical, and I just don't recommend doing that for any, any reason. So the morning comes, I make a morning session to the sauna at about six in the morning just to make sure I've sweated out every last ounce of fluid in my body. I hop on the scale at the gym and it says I am perfectly 135. I had lost all 20 pounds. So I was like, all right, let's go for the final weigh-in. Dun, dun, dun! Cue the final weigh-in. So during this final weigh-in, it was a very big celebratory day in the gym because of course this only happens once every six weeks where all the program cohort comes together to film their results and just kind of like celebrate completing the challenge. So I remember I had a time slot to go in for my weigh-in and it was at like 10 in the morning. So I was sitting on a bench with like other people that I had just completed this program with. And I was talking to the woman next to me and she was like, oh yeah, like I only lost 12 of my pounds, but I'm gonna get a membership because I really did like fall in love with this gym. How about you? And I was like, I mean, I did too, but I can't afford a $120 gym membership. I'm just a waitress. Like, no, I'm here to get my money and go. Like it's been real, but I did what the program intended. And that was get my $500 back for losing 20 pounds. That's all I was there for. So they call my name, JC, come into the room. It's your time. I go into the room. I am in the lightest of light tank tops I could be in. I am in bike shorts and flip flops. I actually think I probably trimmed a few inches of my hair because I was convinced that that would be the defining factor. So in this room, it was two of the trainers that I had been training with over the past six weeks and another person who had a video camera. So he was videotaping me and I was standing next to the trainer and they pretty much did this whole show about the results. So my trainer goes, all right guys, I'm here with JC and she just completed six weeks. JC, how do you feel? 
Well, I feel great, Timmy. This has been an excellent six weeks in gaining my strength and learning to push myself to the limit. So I am so excited. And he goes, all right, JC, well, let's hop on that scale. So I hop on the scale and it says I weigh 135.3. So I kind of look at my trainer who was looking at my chart and he goes, 0.3. Take off, take off your flip-flops, take off your shoes, take off your shoes. And I was like, oh shoot, okay. So I take off my flip-flops, I hop back on, 135 on the dot. So exactly 20 pounds, not an ounce more, not an ounce less. Camera's on us, he goes, woohoo, you did it. All right, JC, here's your free shirt. So I take a photo and my free shirt, we're holding it up, we're celebrating, and he goes, and that's the kind of results you get on our six week challenge. And then camera's cut. Camera's cut and all, everybody in the room, their entire just demeanor downshifts. And the person, the second trainer in the room goes, all right, JC, so since you didn't lose the 20 pounds, we can't give you your money back, but because you were so close, we can put your $500 towards a gym membership. And I was like, <laughs> what? I just, I lost the 20 pounds, you just saw it. And she says, well, you didn't on the first try and we can't actually give second chances. And I was like, you you gave me a second chance. It was on camera. What are you talking about? And she says, well, we have to send these videos into our corporate office to kind of like compile and make a big, grand, exciting video. And they're going to see that we let you do it twice. So sorry, we can't do that. And I was like, just edit it out. I can edit out anything in this video. What are you talking about? So basically I was on the verge of tears. And mind you, this was in a point in my life where I was not standing up for myself. I was not very confident. I was just a yes man. And I remember I walked out of that office and then I was kind of like very steadfast. I stopped and I was like, you know what? No, this is $500. I cannot lose $500 right now. I walked back into that room and I was not angry. I couldn't be angry guys at the time. It was more so like, hey guys, um, I just really think I deserve my $500 back because I did everything I was supposed to. And they were still fighting me on it. They were like, no, you didn't lose the 20 pounds. And I was like, I did. I hopped on that scale. Your trainer was the one who told me to hop on again. And they were like, well, he shouldn't have told you to do that. And I was like, that's on you guys. I need to speak to the manager. Yes, I said that. But the manager was also the person kind of guiding me through this whole process. So I needed to talk to him. So he comes into the room and it was as if all of our history in the past six weeks of becoming friends, I was dead to him. He goes, I don't understand the problem. Why are you trying to get your money back? Don't you want to join our gym? And I was like, N I don't know. Like, I still need to think about it. I'm not in a very good financial place. And he goes, then why would you do this program? So your whole purpose was to just take your money and leave and not reward our trainers who trained you basically for free for these past six weeks. What kind of person are you that you would take advantage of my company like this? How could you? All of the sudden, it was as if all of the room was against me and I was so confused as to why this man was blaming me for taking advantage of his promotion that he put out there. You don't get to put on the internet the promotion of lose 20 pounds in six weeks, get your money back, and then get mad when somebody tries to do that. It was as if I was the only and the first person to do this. It was unbelievable. So I don't know how I didn't cry during that situation. And I just said, no, I just want my money back. I'm starting to feel really uncomfortable. And I don't know if I want to come back here after this treatment that I'm feeling right now. So he goes, fine, I don't have the money right now, but you can come back next week and pick up a check which blew my mind that they again are running this promotion and he didn't even have the money to give back to people. Like how could he not expect people to take advantage of this and not have the money ready when they actually pulled the trigger and were like, okay, I want my money back. It was unbelievable. I'm getting heated. Oh, I'm getting so mad. <laughs> so he leaves and I'm still kind of just like sitting in the office like, okay, thanks. And it was really such a bummer because those two trainers that were in the room, Again, like I had become friends with them and I was so disappointed that like it had got, it had turned so sour so quickly. So one of the trainers was like, oh, just so you know, um, like 70% of the people who complete this program gain the weight back within four months. So we typically do a like four month check-in. And she was like, I don't think we'll be interested in that from you. Basically saying like, don't ever call us again when really she was saying like, we'll never call you again. And I was like, bitch, I don't want you to call me again. What are you talking about? And so I remember leaving, knowing I would have to come back in a week, thinking of that stat she just told me.
70% of the people who complete this program gain it all back. And I remember sitting in my car going, yeah, no wonder, because I just finished and all I can think about is eating a full-size pizza, two double-doubles from In-N-Out, and an entire banana split to myself. No shit, lady. Epilogue of this whole story, I go back a week later, I pick up my check and they were super salty to me, like not even making eye contact, just like, here's your check, good day to you. So rude. By that time, I had gained, within a week, I had gained 10 pounds of the weight back. That's because those 10 pounds weren't real. So I had really gained like three pounds of the weight back because that was how much actual like fat loss and true weight I had lost, not just like the water weight from the laxatives and the sauna. And that whole week, I just spent binging. I've never binged harder in my life. I've never eaten so many burritos. I'm pretty sure the guy at Taco Bell knew me by first name at that point. Mocha frappuccinos, the whole works. Frozen yogurt, oh man, you guys. That was a great week, but also really bad because that was just one week later. Within three months, I had gained all 20 pounds back. Within three months. So I spent six weeks working my absolute tail off. Three months later, I had gained back all of the weight. Six weeks later, I had gained back the weight twofold. So I had gained 40 pounds. So not only did I gain back all of the weight that I had lost during the program, I had gained an additional 20 pounds from the starting point of when I thought I was heavy and needed to lose the 20 pounds. I fell into a really, really dark place because so much of my self-worth was tied to my weight. I still have a lot of weight issues to this day, a lot of insecurities, because I was taught through that program such unsustainable and impractical workout and eating habits. So this whole program was all about work yourself in these workouts to death and eat basically nothing when you go home. And they proved that that worked. They proved that somebody who was as small of a frame as I was could lose 20 pounds in six weeks. And it took me years to kind of unlearn that message because as I was binging over the next several months, I kept telling myself, well, I can lose the weight again. I've done it before. So I can just keep eating this frozen yogurt, keep eating this pizza, knowing I could just do another six week challenge on my own if I wanted to. Now, I wouldn't say I specifically had an eating disorder, but I would say that a lot of those mindsets that I had were either leading to it or, you know, symptomatic of an eating disorder. I had gone through a period of basically not eating or only eating chicken and asparagus to absolutely binging, knowing I could go back to that if I wanted to lose weight. It was, extremely taxing on my mental health, on my physical well-being, and just on my overall confidence because all of the weight that I was gaining was just, it was just bad. I don't know how else to describe it in the sense that that program really did so much more damage than them telling me to screw off and here's your $500 check. And I don't think I've eaten asparagus, you guys, in six years because <laughs> it was just so traumatizing that I had to eat that every day for, for 42 days straight, I had to eat asparagus and I never wanted to do that again. So now I have since lost um, the 40 pounds again. I am back down to around 135. So I'm really proud of myself. It took several years to get back down to this weight because I really wanted to emphasize doing it in a healthy way and doing it in a way that was best for my mental health. And I still don't think I did a great job at that. Um, but if you want like some type of weight loss journey, because I am the world's best yo-yo dieter, which is also not great, let me know because I can do some type of weight loss journey video for you guys. But yeah, I think I'm just in a much better place with my body. Of course, I still do have insecurities and I still get extremely self-conscious, you know, being in a bikini or being in certain type of shirts. But I think it's been such a journey since that program of learning my self-worth, learning how to lose weight sustainably and healthy and just have an overall better relationship with food. So just as kind of an update with the camp, I don't think they do that program anymore. I think I probably was not the only person to experience this. They probably also realized they were losing a lot of money by doing this because it was a great promotion, you guys, like $500 back and you get a free six week program. They were basically giving away six week programs and didn't expect people to not return and become gym members. You know, it's kind of like doy. So I don't think they do this promotion anymore. So if you attend the camp now or you have in the past, this is just a criticism of that specific program that they have. I don't think they do it anymore. I think they're just now 
either a very specific like CrossFit type of gym or they have more targeted programs. I would say that I don't think it was very responsible of them to allow me personally to do that program because again, I didn't have 20 pounds to lose and it was very irresponsible of them to allow me to try and do those very unsustainable habits in order to reach that target goal. I hope that they've turned a new leaf and have really changed their business practices since. So definitely let me know if you'd like to see that weight loss journey one. I have taken so many photos over the years that I could show and kind of like give my experience. So let me know in the comments below. Also make sure to check out some of my previous story times. My most recent one was about me getting fired from my first big girl job. That was a funny one. So definitely check that out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to follow along for future story times. I got a lot of dramatic stories I could tell you guys. I have a lot of, a lot of crap happen in my life. I, it's probably not good, but, but I can tell you more about it and we can all vent together. But I thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Toodles! Oh, I just felt so cool at the beginning stages of those workouts because I felt like I could... I'm busy. We reevaluate some of the research hours. Yeah, but I think those are probably our two best options. All right, talk to you soon. All right, bye. Oh. Do they not know I'm a YouTuber and I can't answer work calls during my work hours? <laughs> Sorry.